Hello everybody, hope you're doing really well. Today I am in Littlehampton in Sussex, or Icklehampton as I used to call it. <laughs> uh, today uh, I want you to come along with me on this amazing little World War II secret that Littlehampton has and is a really interesting story. So stay with me and I'll see you on the other side. Come on. Hello everybody and welcome back. Picture the scene, it's 1942 and we are pretty much at the stage now where we assume that the German invasion isn't happening. The Battle of Britain had obviously already taken place and Britain was on the up. The Canadians hadn't long since come over to our shores as well in 1941, the Royal Canadian Army. And with that they brought lots of engineers with them. And most of them were stationed on the Sussex, South Downs, and then obviously in the Kent area as well. And they were amazing engineers. And it brings me to here. Today we're at uh, Musebrook in Littlehampton, the lake itself. There you go. But then what's significant about this? Good question. So, what it was decided was that obviously for a counter-offensive preparations for D-Day pretty much they needed amphibious craft they needed to build them pretty quickly but more importantly they needed to test them which is why we're here so standing in front of me obviously is the main island of Musebrook Lake but just here is probably one of its greatest secrets this was a landing stage for amphibious craft to do practices to make sure that or to make sure they're amphibious it was a testing facility say so testing facility loosely because well you need to understand this the idea was that these small amphibious craft that they were testing out would be tested literally on this part here and they would literally go in and then over there which would check out they would basically take a full left turn and go up to the next embankment which is on the opposite side just about there and come out hopefully by that point it would either survive or it wouldn't it would drown and it's an incredible secret but not necessarily a secret but it's an incredible piece of hidden history really and especially in Littlehampton and Sussex so really at one point in time this would have been in heavy army use and you can imagine the sound of not necessarily large tanks or large vehicles more likely smaller smaller amphibious craft just literally being tested here so they go down that ramp then they come all the way across and then like I said they end up coming out over there which is where we are headed next let's go come on Okay, so we're just coming up to the second, well, the exit platform, as it was uh, known as. Now, what you can see, hard to tell, there's some steps there. Underneath this pontoon should be the remnants. Yep, you can just about see in there. It's really hard to tell everybody, so apologies. Down there would have been originally a concrete slope as an exit point. And then there we are over there. So all the craft had to do, come in, take a steep right hand turn, come all the way around and take a left. Could have been noted as well that they could have done a loop around there, but really the point was just to test these amphibious craft to see for leaks, to see if it was gonna work, to see if it was gonna be in full operational use. And then obviously that would be a really good sign that those amphibious craft could be then used for further invasion plans which you obviously know would have been D-Day at the time. 
amazing piece of history isn't it really to sort of think there's a nice little sketch obviously that you can see um, of this description of this it's really interesting to find the history on that and what I've found even more interesting is that on the notice board which you may have seen at the beginning there's a tiny tiny little mention that this was requisitioned by the army in world war ii for preparations to d-day it's tiny 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 and yet it's so important and the irony is is that nowadays obviously we can <laughs> go on these like little sort of dragon pedlo types of things and pedal around here but obviously the irony was probably back then it wasn't really that fun to obviously be a part of this it was more very very serious form of testing for very very serious measures i love history and i love little stories like this and it might be so insignificant to a lot of people and yet it's so important for most as well because really if it wasn't for this testing of these more smaller amphibious vehicles obviously it gives hope it gives promise that this could work and obviously the canadian I mean, the Royal Canadian Army, you could pretty much do a whole whole documentary on, and I'm sure there probably are if I've ever looked, but when they came over to England, I mean, they made a really significant impact, and their engineers specifically were just at the top of their game, really. And like I said, although this is a very smaller version of a landing stage here at this lake, still really shines some incredible importance on this place. And just this wonderful world war ii history that we seem to find ourselves just in it's tiny it's tiny and yet it's so significant it's really important for Littlehampton and its history really because Littlehampton has got plenty of history but to know that this was actually really important for world war ii just defies belief in this insignificant lake on a gloomy day today amazing really really amazing Well, as I say goodbye to Littlehampton, on this blustery day actually, so I'm sort of glad I'm not here too long. It's always it's always a bit sad, isn't it, on a sort of like miserable day. The last place you want to be is by the coast, really. But as I say goodbye to this place, it's just amazing, isn't it, to sort of think that the amount of people who have probably been here and didn't realise the huge significance that this play, potentially during D-Day, just for these smaller amphibious craft who were being tested out for waterproofing here by the Canadian military that were obviously just operating, obviously making sure maintenance, etc, etc. Really so interesting. Like I said, such a beautiful place anyway. Like I said, only a small journey they reckon that would literally just come off this pond, just come down this way, go around, take a left, and then literally obviously where the wooden pontoon pretty much is now, obviously it would have been a concrete slipway originally as well. So they would have come out, gone round, and then come back out the other side. Amazing piece of World War II history. Such an insignificant place. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Hopefully, you really enjoyed this. I kind of enjoyed this being here, just sort of noting that, you know, at one point, this was actually quite important in World War II. So, yeah, any more words of Phoenix history? Thank you so much for coming along with me. Hopefully, you really enjoyed that. Stay safe. Much love to all of you out there. And I will see you all very soon. Look after yourselves, everybody. Ready? Come on. Ciao, pal. Woo.